I recently found some 300 watt solar panels on Facebook Marketplace. After a bit of negotiation, I purchased them for $60 each. The panels have a few scratches here and there, but were never installed. I tested them, and good news, they work perfectly. I'm not sure how I'm going to incorporate this new solar into my system quite yet, but I'm experimenting with how they fit on the current rack design. Here you can see how one of the 300 watt panels compares to the current 200 watt panels. If you are working on your first DIY system, I can recommend getting started with 200 watt panels. They are lightweight, very easy to reconfigure, and can be flexibly connected in both series or parallel for many charge controllers. Even if you upgrade to larger panels later, the 200 watt size is easy to store, use for smaller projects, or even place on top of an RV. 300 watt panels are the next best thing, especially if you can get them for a good price. I haven't found any online that ship for free, but I was able to fit four of them in the back of my vehicle. If you've ever measured a four or 500 watt panel, you know that there's a good chance they aren't gonna fit inside a car or small SUV. The 300 watt panels are also a perfect fit on the Unistrut. It almost seems like these panels were exactly designed to be laid out three in a row in 10 foot wide sections. I don't know if this is gonna be the final configuration, and I still plan to incorporate the 200 watt panels back into the system. One idea I have is to extend the ground mount to the right and parallel a series of the 300 watt panels with a series of the 200 watt panels to stay below the voltage limits of my charge controller. I'll keep you posted when I have a decision. Until then, thanks for watching.